So now that the idle mix um, idle mixture is perfect, the next step would be to um, go ahead and adjust your needle clip position. The needle clip is found at the top of the carburetor and there will be one screw holding it down right here. You can use a flat blade screwdriver and loosen that screw or bolt. Be careful of dropping parts into your engine because it will be difficult to take it back out. Once it comes loose, the entire assembly at the top comes right off like this. Put the boat somewhere safe and you can see this is the carp needle. Fastening the carp needle to the cable is a clip. The height of the clip determines how rich your mixture is um, in the mid-range or partial throttle. So um, you can go ahead and undo this uh, needle out and then change the clip position to adjust your richness. Again, for two-stroke, it's better to be richer in mixture than lean just because it provides lubrication for your engine. So here is the carb needle. You can see at the stock position it is at the highest setting which is the leanest. The further down you, further down you go the more rich your mixture becomes. So I'm just going to go with a conservative one step down and see how that goes. So you can see now the clip is at the second position. So the entire richer, the entire mixture um, part way through the throttle should be a bit richer. This serves as a safeguard. Um, and so now you can put everything back together, go for a ride. So I've tuned the idle mix already. The bike idle is fine, I think. And I've also installed a 62 main jet. I think the stock one was 53. Ever since removing the restrictor. Engine response is a lot better. But I think it's struggling at the very top end. Because it's a bit too rich. I'm happy how well the entire install went about. You know, if you check the forums, a lot of people say don't remove the restrictor, it's there for a reason. And it's supposed to improve performance or whatever. Well, now you can see that exactly. Now you can see that it's not true. Removing the restrictor makes the bike a lot more responsive. And I'm expecting even more gains after I've dialed it in perfectly. I'm super close to the perfect team. There's not a lot of smoke coming out of my exhaust. I don't see a lot of soup coming out from the exhaust. That's a good sign. So I think we're ready to install the new exhaust.